How to assemble Philodo 7 e-bike Remove the staples from the box and open the box. Take everything out of the box. Take out all the parts, tools, and manual in the small box. Cut the nylon ties of the bike. Be careful not to scratch the tires, cables or other parts of the bike. Remove the front wheel, fenders, handlebar and seat post. Turn the stem to the front. Remove the fascia plate of the stem. Before inserting the handlebar, take care to note that the cables should run clearly from the handlebar. They should not be twisted. Reattach the fascia plate of the stem, then tighten the four screws. You should keep swapping between the screws to ensure that the fascia plate has a consistent gap from the stem along all edges. And tighten securely. The handlebar should be aligned so that once front wheel is installed, the brake levers are at 45 degrees to the ground. Tighten the screw under the black rubber cover. We're on the top of the front fork. Align the handlebar with the front wheel. Tighten the two screws on the stem. Remember that don't unscrew any nuts on the hub of front wheel. Lift the bike, then insert the disc into the middle of caliper. There are two springs, a lever, and a nut on the quick release skewer. Insert the skewer from the disc side, from the other side. Attach the spring followed by the nut. The larger sides of the springs are on the outside ends of the skewer. Keep the front wheel in the middle of the front fork. Tighten the nut on the skewer until the lever becomes from too close. The lever should leave an imprint in your palm. Make sure the front fork braces at the front of the bike, not at the back. Place the headlight and fender at the right position. Then tighten the bolt and nut. The headlight can be adjusted up and down to change the illumination angle. It is important to note that paddles are sided. L means left, and R means right. Install the left paddle into the left crank arm gently by hand. Tighten the left paddle counterclockwise by a 15 wrench. Remember the L and R are always from the perspective of the rider. Install the right paddle into the right crank arm gently by hand. This allows the paddle to enter the crank arm, without damaging the threads in the crank arm. Tighten it clockwise by a wrench. Open the quick release lever. Insert the seat post into the seat tube. Adjust the height of the seat. Close the quick release lever by your palm or finger. Tighten the sticks on both sides of the rear fender to the frame. Remove the protective covers from the rear rack. Align the holes in the rear rack and frame. Sometimes you need to make some adjustments to the rear rack to make it fit the frame better. Tighten the four screws on the rear rack. The keys of the battery are hung on the handlebar. Remove them. Insert the key into the keyboard. Open the battery lock. Carefully slide the battery upwards and lift it off the frame. When installing the battery, Sliding the battery into the frame mount receptacle. Close the battery lock and remove the key. If the lock isn't closed or the key cannot be removed, the battery has not been properly installed. And you may not be able to turn on the display for this reason. So, make sure that the battery is properly installed. Keep the two keys properly. Don't miss them. 
Check whether the bike is installed correctly.